Hi right, Forest fans, Max Newton here giving you a quick preview of Nottingham Forest at home to Manchester United at the world famous City Ground. Saturday 5.30 under the lights, expecting a big atmosphere, um, expecting players to be really up for it. Um, following on from a yeah, pretty good performance at home to Bournemouth, um, considering that we're absolutely shafted by the referee and by VAR. And um, magnificent performance, totally unexpected away to Newcastle. Um, you know, it's funny, I was watching a, a podcast with a, a Wolves fan who was saying, you know, the first time they saw Nuno Ball uh, in a pre-season friendly at Leicester, their minds were blown with the, the football that they were seeing. And it felt like that's what we experienced in that a game at St. James's Park. Um, completely different away performance, you know, chances galore, um, XG through the roof. Uh, touches in the parents' half and the parents' box through the roof. We could have easily have been you know, absolutely battered, battered Newcastle, absolutely battered Newcastle. And they go, oh, we've got these injuries, but they still got um, Joel Linton and uh, Callum Wilson on the bench to bring on. They still got sixty-five million pounds centre forward play. You know, give it a break. Um, Forest were magnif absolutely magnificent. Chris Wood sensational turn into prime Messi and he was you know he's brilliant against Bournemouth so you know is Chris Wood the Jimenez first that Santo had at, uh, at Wolves could be uh, Morgan Gibbs White you know that they've seen that the picture is touch map it's he's everywhere and you know such a central part in the in the win how he gets two points in fantasy Premier League is an absolute disgrace it's worse than Rob Jones and VAR that is um, preposterous um, so yeah so we go into all of a sudden two games into the Nuno era we go into Manchester United game at home um, thinking we can win this game and instead of thinking we're going to be in bottom three over this Christmas period we're looking up and thinking we're going to catch we could catch uh, Brentford Palace um, you know and, and move ourselves away ease ourselves away from uh, from the relegation even with Luton picking up a couple of fluky wins is what they do. All that funny about Sheffield United. Um, so yeah, so you know we saw six changes in the Newcastle game from the what I thought was a good performance against Bournemouth. Um, so who knows what side is going to start? I normally tell you what side I think will play, but you know Toffolo, Nico Williams, I thought have been brilliant. I thought Mangala has been brilliant all season. But they were all replaced, and I thought the replacements were all brilliant. I thought Sangare actually had a good game, um, and I thought uh, the two fullbacks were brilliant. Um, Elanga playing on his right, right hand side, fantastic. Um, you know, he's right footed, so yeah, stick, stick a right winger on the right hand side and have them getting down the wing, crossing the ball in for a big flipping centre forward to nod in who can bully defenders out of the way rather than trying to do it like Rashford and like the fashion these days of right foot on the left wing and coming down and cutting in. Um, you know, it's far more effective if he can just use his outright pace and get down, beat the fullback, wing it in. Dan Byrne, by the way, <laughs> um, got several holes, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so I think Alanga starts. I think Chris um, Morgan Gibbs-White starts in the middle. I think Chris Wood starts up front. Uh, I think Callum Hudson Odoi really looked like the look of him the last couple of games also on the left hand side. Um and then the midfield, anybody's guess? Obviously Sangare can't play. Um Mangala, Yates, Dominguez, who knows? Um and fullbacks, who knows? And centre halves, I'd expect to see Bolly come back in. Um probably with Nick Kate or maybe with Murillo. I think that could be the difficult choice. Um the Bolly, Nick Kate, Murillo. Three, I think I'll probably play uh four at the back. So one of those has to miss out. And goalkeeper Matt Turner, you know, played in the game where we didn't lose, but he looks nervous. And um he looks like when he's about to take a kick, even when it's coming straight to him, he takes a couple of steps back and sort of like runs around the ball before kicking it out. And I think that puts him under pressure. Um but it'd be a different game uh, against Manchester United. Newcastle um at home, high line, pouring forwards. Uh, while Manchester United like to play diff quite defensive and low block and on the counter attack themselves. So um I think we'll probably see quite a bit more of the ball. Um but we'll, I think we'll definitely have that front four, if you like, of uh, Wood, Hudson Adoy, Alanga, and Morgan Gibbs White in that central role, um, where he just has much more effect on the game. So I think 
playing on the counter attack or playing a bit more possession, that's that's a front four that that can score goals against this Manchester United side. And Manchester United side, they're a funny side, aren't they? At the moment, you know, they're they're only a point better than Newcastle, I think. Um, Ten Hag's on trouble, but they're they're a bit like a Gary Megson, uh, League One Forest side. They you know, play terrible football, terrible manager, no team spirit. But actually, they've got quality players. They've got you know some quality, some Premier League Nicky Salvals who can ping in a hat trick in five minutes from from all over the shop. And I think that's the danger that they have. You know, for all of their troubles, they've still got Fernandez, Rashford. Martial, you know, still got quality players that would walk into Fireside every day of the week. Um, so we've just got to be, got to concentrate and got to be on it. Um, but I think we can win this game. I'm going to go Forest two, Manchester United nil. Goals from Chris Wood and Morgan Gibbs Wright. Morgan Gibbs Wright, come on, you Reds. <laughs>